The Unified Bocce team is looking for new members this season. Any student interested in joining the Unified Bocce team, please see Miss D or Miss Lombardi for any information. The deadline to join FBLA is November 16. If interested, see Miss Delon and NA202. Attention juniors and seniors. An opportunity to earn service hours has come up. It involves making a highlight reel for a fall sports group. These hours can be applied to an NHS application or a senior project. Please see or email Miss Jen if you are interested. Now here's a special segment on military with Matt and Brett. Good morning, Central Valley. I'm Brett Fitzsimmons. And I'm Matt Gareback here with a special segment on the branches of the military. The U.S. military has six branches of service. The Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marine Corps, and the Space Force. The requirements to join are similar for all six. The main differences are the age limits, test scores, and fitness levels. Most people serve four years of active duty and four years inactive. After you completed your active duty time, you can either extend your contract or re-enlist if you want to continue serving. Military officers take on a much larger role in the military. Military officers are the leaders of the military, and instead of enlisting in the sense of that enlisted military men and women do, they are commissioned officers who serve indefinitely at the pleasure of the President of the United States. Now that you've learned a little bit about the different branches of the military, let's hit the halls and ask some fellow students some questions. What's going on, CV? I'm here with uh, Mr. Hudson, and we're going to be asking him a few questions about uh, the military. So, Mr. Hudson, do you have anybody in your family that served in the military? Uh, I do, Mr. Fitzsimmons. Uh, both of my grandfathers and both of my great-grandfathers. Yeah, it's good to hear. But, uh, what do you plan on doing? Would you plan on uh, serving in the military? Uh, you know, if it's, uh, just recently I've considered doing it. And, uh, I'm about 100% on it. I'm going to be doing ROTC. And uh, so you plan on serving, joining the ROTC, the reserves. Why are you doing this? Well, I'll be blunt with you. I love America, number one. Number two, they're paying for all my college. You know, college is a, an expensive thing these days. So I'm going to get the bang for my buck. Mm -hmm. Going to get that hefty debt off your back. Of course, coming out of college. living life, serving country. I mean, you can't get better than that, living the American dream. Well, you know what, Mr. Hudson? I'm very, I'm very happy to say I'm proud of you thank for you. joining the ROTC. Thank, thank I you. respect that a lot. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good morning, CV. I'm here with Mr. Smith, and today I'm going to be asking him a couple questions about the military. So, Mr. Smith, uh, what branch of the military did you serve in? I served in the United States Navy. Okay, and where were you stationed while you during your acts of service? I met the ship in uh, the Philadelphia shipyard, so I was there for about six months, and then the rest of my time I was in Virginia Beach in Norfolk. That's nice. Um, and lastly, uh, why did you serve in the military? I served in the military. Uh, one, I had several family members that have been in the military and wanted to continue that tradition. And uh, I had it in my heart to give service to my country. And that was the best way that I could do it. Thank you, thank you for your service. Thank you. What's going on, CV? I'm here with a uh, familiar face, Nolan Rawlings. And we're gonna be asking him a few questions about the military. So Norman, did anybody in your family serve in the military? Uh, yeah, my father served in the Navy and then uh, 
My grandparents both served in the Air Force, so but my Force. grandfather's yet. Well, thank you for the service, first yeah, off. Appreciate it. Thank God. Second off, do you think about continuing the family tradition? Do you ever think about serving yourself? Uh, I looked into the career path to join the Navy. Uh, I went to the recruiter and everything. It just didn't line up. Didn't line up for you? Yeah. All right. Uh, with Veterans Day coming up this Friday, do you and your family do anything special? I would go to my grandfather's house, like, every other, whatever, every other significant holiday and just have a little dinner, a little potluck. It's nice to hear, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. As you can see, there are many different branches of military and positions that are always in need of people. Even if you don't want to serve, there are still many different ways you can support the different branches of the military. That's all we have for you today, CB. Have a great and blessed day. Good morning, Central Valley. I'm Matt Garibay. And I'm Brett Fitzsimmons. And we're here with this week's weather report. Today, starting off with a mix of sunshine and clouds with a high of 43, low of 31. Tomorrow, we have cloudy skies with a 90% chance of rain with a high of 45 and a low of 38. Wednesday, we have cloudy skies with a high of 41 and a low of 33. Thursday, we have cloudy skies with a high of 38 and a low of 28. Friday, we have cloudy skies with a high of 33 and a low of 21. Saturday, we have intervals of clouds and sunshine with a high of 32 and a low of 23. Sunday, we have sunshine with a few passing clouds with a high of 31 and a low of 20. This week, we had an average high of 37 degrees and an average low of 27 degrees. Hey, CV, we're outside now. As you can see, it's a pretty cloudy day, no sunshine. It's a little chilly. If you plan on going outside, make sure you bundle up. Yeah, CV, I want to have you take a look over here. Oh my, who is that? Oh. CB President, Hadra Hudson, they coming to shot. Hey, hey there, CB. Um, just came outside, a cup of coffee, a little cold out today. Um, you know, bring your hoodies out. I'm in my shorts, but if you want to get cold, bring your pants, man, because it's cold. She better. Now, this is some November weather. This is what we were talking is. about in this previous week's here. Holiday hey. season's here. Hey, get ready. Winter Olympics coming soon. That's all we have for your weather this week, CB. Have a great day. Go Warriors.